Ahoy! Uh, this is my demonstration of how we can create the rail fence cipher algorithm in Python 3. Uh, if you're not sure what the rail fence cipher algorithm is, uh, I don't know why you're looking at this video, but I mean Google's your friend, right? You can figure that out, I'm sure. But we need to start by defining our matrix size, uh, the length of which is equal to the number of characters in our message and the number of rows is equal to our key, which is some known integer value. Um, right, so like I said, you want to start by defining the size of your matrix. So a way I like to do that, um, using an empty string, so we don't need to use uh, characters or numbers. rows right so that'll set the length uh, and width of our matrix uh, corresponding to the message and key that we'll know um, I'm also uh, doing this inside a function here so you'll just pass it some message and key value so you can see here where I'm calling the function, the message I'm passing is something with a key of three. Um, then we need a couple of variables to be able to track what row and column we're at. And we also need an increment variable. So I'm going to set row So these are essentially just going to count what row and column we're at. Um, and we also need to ensure we don't go out of bounds, so past the the length or width of the matrix that we've uh, just initialized. So one way we can do that uh, is with a while loop. I'm um, I'm pretty lazy. I like to use autocomplete a lot. Right. Um, so that'll stop us from going further than our predetermined length. And we also need to have some statement to stop us from going uh, past the the width, our number of rows. So a way we can do that. Um, so that'll stop us from going to like some negative value of rows, right? Um, for row. Right, so that'll stop us from going past the maximum number of rows. Um, but essentially, if we get to the last row, so if we get to the bottom row here, we need it to start moving back up the rows. So a way we can do that is by changing our increment from one to minus one. Um, and this was an idea I actually got from a YouTuber named All Tech. You might be able to find his video on YouTube, but um, this was a pretty cool way. I really liked um, this method, but essentially what we do is multiply that increment by minus one that way when it does get back up here it multiplies by minus one again and starts um, de uh, incrementing back down the rows and it just it keeps doing that essentially so it stops you from having to have multiple loops to go down and then back up you can do it all in the one uh, in the one loop right so now we're at column and row zero, so we're in the top left corner, and we just want to place a character. So we want to go matrix, right? 
that and what that'll do is if we're at zero zero and it's also color zero which means it's going to be the first uh, character in our message right so it's going to take this s and put it in column zero row zero which is right here and then what it will do we want to add our increment to the row Uh, and then we want to increment the column, but we want to increment it by one, not by our increment because we never want the column to decrease. Um, and after we've done that, we should be done with that loop. We need we essentially need to concatenate these strings um, essentially just to go through the matrix um, and grab each of these characters so it's going to come through and it's going to grab the S, the T, the G then go down a row and grab all of these and add them into one string right um, so a way we can do that Um, is just essentially just by joining the empty string right for each um, element in the matrix all right and because we're in a f we're in a function so we need to return that value uh, otherwise it technically doesn't exist outside of this function here and then outside of the function, so past where we're actually calling it, we want to uh, I need a variable for that, let's just use m for now, why not alright, and let's see there we go, so what it's done is it's gone through and it's placed each character um, in this zigzag pattern just like this and then it goes through uh, using that join function and it takes all of these characters and just pulls them out so you got STG goes down a line O E H N and down another uh, row M I so you can see that's the same here um, it might help you to actually view the matrix itself um, to see what's happening. Um, it's helped me when I first coded it, but you can essentially use the, um, the same loop here. If we print, so you can see there, that's what is actually happening. So every time it places a character, it adds the increment, uh, which at first it'll be plus one, so it's going down a row, and then it adds plus one to column. So it goes here and here, and it repeats that, and uh, our increment becomes a negative, so we start going down rows, but we, we're still going forward in columns, right? So we're going forward a column, back down a row, forward a column, back down a row, and then it reverses, and it keeps doing that. Um, and that is your encryption.